Egg Muffin was my nickname in middle school. I was a chunker. So uh, you. are you? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. He was legitimately Egg, was egg McMuffin. Muffin. I was Egg McMuffin. You know, bro. One dude tried to bully me and call me that. I put his head into a headlock and Fuck I put yeah. his head into a locker and uh, I got in trouble. Uh, oh, they that's said that's fine. not the way to retaliate. And I was like, yeah, but he never said. Welcome back to Indian Tuesdays. And we can actually call it Indian Tuesdays this week because it's not just a Bollywood film we're talking about. This is a regional film <sighs> we're talking about today. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. People have been in the comments saying, oh, what? you guys are more all all you guys watch is Hindi films. Well, that's what's widely available to us. Exactly. Also, we're not watching one today. We're watching one that's been requested for a very long time, especially in our current iteration of uh, mystery and uh, thriller. thriller. I don't think I would put this in the mystery. There's some suspenseful parts. Anyway, hey, that's not point. We're yeah. talking about Super Deluxe. Uh, this, the incredibly long... <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we're, ta <clears throat> we're talking about the 2019 film written and directed by, oh boy. Uh, oh my God. Um, <laughs> take it slow. Take it slow. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. Ooh, Tigar, Tigarajan Kumaraja. Yeah. I'm Tiger not going to lie. I'm not looking at it directly, but that Tiger sounds good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tigarajan Kumararaga. Yes. Awesome. Written and directed by him, her. Written by everybody. Him, everybody by rate, him. rate that pronunciation below. <laughs> yes, please. Because you guys called me out on, like, uh, I guess the last episode I said, uh, don, 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 don. I didn't get it very right. Because uh, I just messed it up in the <laughs> middle like and I just kept going. To, yeah, trying to turn on. Anyway, this is, this is the 2019 story of four different groups of people who turn out to become this interwoven story about, well, society, norms, and everything else in between. Marriage, really, anything you want to, anything you want to say is crazy. But I guess like, like the log line I would say is, uh, I don't really know what I could say. Uh, an unfaithful wife. Uh, an angry kid, um, <laughs> the three musketeers, <laughs> and a transgender woman um, face their demons. In that's a good. One. Yeah, I like that. In a story about society, really. Um, so that's that's super deluxe in a nutshell. I would try to give you guys a overall breakdown of the story, but there's basically four stories at once. And it's incredibly long to go into each of those stories. Uh, so we're just going to jump in to our review of the film. So uh, you went first for Mission Impossible. So I guess I'll go first go for, for Super Deluxe. Ed, I thought this movie was fantastic. Uh, there was so many things that really kind of stuck with me in this movie and really kind of uh, that I just kind of like loved how they how they decided to, you know, portray a, a dark comedy and then really kind of bring it into like actual discussion topics, things that actually mattered. Um, first off, I got to start with the color, the color correction in this mm. Mm. and the scenes, the cinematography mm. are, I would say, I would say it's the best color correction we've seen in an Indian film so far. Very it close. is so vibrant and insanely detailed yep. a lot of the scenes are so well blocked and staged it looks really really good and it plays really good on scene um and like there are so many funny moments in this that kind of bring you out of the heaviness that is the story i'd say that it all works really really well um and i wrote down so many notes on this film about more just like lines funny lines that were said uh but ed what did you think of the movie i know what you're gonna say you're gonna say it's too long but put that aside what did you think of the movie okay i don't i won't i wouldn't say it okay it is too long but it, it's it, that's such a, a description now that I, i've come to expect that saying it 
it doesn't really do much anymore and that's fine what i right. will say about this movie that matches up with that is that it is definitely excessive yeah, oh yeah, yeah. A, lot. a lot going and on, on purpose the director yeah, yeah. clearly that's how it's meant to be i think it's a, if i had a complaint about the movie i would say that is the the biggest complaint i would have it's a little excessive and indulgent that being mm. said i really really liked it i really yeah. enjoyed it i mean these all these four stories are so interesting and so full of character and full of unpredictable moments that you don't know really where it's going to go and you find out also that they they interweave it's it's hardly the first multi-narrative movie that we've had one of my favorite ones Babel from from like american films i don't know if you've seen that alex but Babel's like wonderful i love that movie it's by um Inaritu. uh it's great it's very similar in that sense you know it's not it's non-linear it, it follows multiple stories that somewhat kind of you know cross over and this is what happens here um, so overall, I, I enjoy those movies a lot, but they can be, they can also be a lot. Yeah. Um, and so again, I think that was, it's, it, it's a little excessive that, that being said, dude, the, the filmmaking is wonderful though. The bold yes. color palette really yes. immediately jumps out. Cinematography over, overall is one of the best I've seen in any of the movies that we've seen. The yeah. use of the doorway framing, like the sort of, um, the framing, uh, within a frame. I love yeah. that using the windows and the doors is 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 wonderful. I actually thought this was very West. It was a very Wes Anders Andersony um, mm. style movie with like a little Martin McDonough because it's like very yeah. dark. It's like a yeah, dark yeah, comedy. Yeah. I could so, see that. Yeah, it's you know, yeah, it's just uh, these really unusual quirky characters in a very unusual scene, and it just kind of drives each other and. Uh, I thought it was well done, well directed as well. I mean, this this oh. this kind of movie takes a lot of heavy-handed direction and needed yes. focus in order for this to really work and overall i thought it really i think it did i love the music as well the soundtrack yeah, was soundtrack excellent was yeah both if they were um uh, commercial songs that i'm sure were used or if they were all made for the 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 movie um wonderful stuff um yeah and then i i did appreciate at the end that sort of philosophical wrap-up about like this all doesn't really matter but I just yeah. wanted to show you sort of like what, how life is. And sometimes life is just life and it's weird and, you know, things can happen. And that's, yeah. that's what it is. It, it, ultimately, you're not supposed yeah. to really make sense of it all. Um, it's just, this is what, this is what we are. And yeah. uh, we should look at it from a, like a eagle eye point of view. We all are just sort of part of it. All these yeah. little stories end up being sort of just one whole thing at the end of the day um, from a, you know, from that level. And I, I'm a good, I like me a good uh, philosophical look at things. So that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good movie. Would I yeah. watch it again? Probably not. It's too long, uh, but I would tell people to watch I, this. It's fine. I, like, it's funny cool you say stuff. that because I would say every person in America needs to watch this movie. Mm, uh, mm. Just basically just based on the, in America right now, the, transgender stuff is a big issue here and you know mm -hmm. ed and i have the same opinion you you be whatever you want to be that doesn't matter to us i really don't care you know yeah but you know society here has these like you know silly norms whether you're just like everybody should be it or they shouldn't exist at all you know like you have crazy people saying oh they should be exterminated or something <laughs> like it's like chill out Jesus just Christ. Like, oh yeah dude well, yeah it's it's bad and it's just like just let people be, you okay, know, we have, we, we, we fit into the societal norms that we shouldn't. And that's, I think the point of some of the story, like everybody is stuck within these societal norms. And even the mom at the end says it. Yeah. I played a goddess in one movie, but that's right. okay. But everybody watches porn. And then it's fine. I'm it's shameful. Completely. It. Yeah. yeah. The big, the big theme in the movie that I, that I liked was stigma, right? It's this idea it's of stigma. Yes. Yeah, of really, uh, really. what thing tap things that are taboo and why and put it, pitting them against the ideas of like, well, what is accepted versus not accepted, and how at the end of the day, it's all bullshit. You yeah, know, it, it, bullshit. religion gets in the way, or um, uh, gender Cast. gender gets yeah. in the way. You know, or, or even cultural. Uh, w with the example of the the marriage, which was one of my favorite stories in the in this. In my, this um, that was thing. my favorite story. Yeah, it's also my is probably my favorite. It, you know, it's all about that, about this commentary about like what's accepted and what's not. And at the end of the day, these are just people, you know, yeah. uh, crying is a huge theme in this one. Like there's a lot of crying and I love yeah. that. It, again, it comes down yeah. to the fact that we're all vulnerable. We're all human. We all cry. And that, yeah. at you know, we just have to try to do our best to, you know, accept each other as the way we are. So yeah, it, this movie day, had a lot of good, the same, you know, yeah. we're all still humans. And I think a lot of times we all, we always forget that when we get caught up in, in America, I'm sure it's the same in India, but yeah. in our stupid politics here that I think everybody's just sick and tired of, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you either, you have to pick a side and it's just yeah. like, it's, this is a nice refresher to let people know that people make mistakes. Yeah. You have to own up to those mistakes. You know, right. like in uh, Shilba's story, part of her arc line is that she made that choice to, Correct. you know, change herself, himself. I don't know. Uh, herself. But now she has to live with those demons and accept what that means for her family. Right. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you realize the family accepts you. So right. if that's what matters, then you know you guys will be okay. That was so, my favorite ending. I love that was that yeah, really that made was, me tear up. That's that yeah. made me tear up because it's like the the whole time and the, the whole time it was there. Like the kid doesn't care. No. The kid was just so happy to have his father back. Right. In whatever form that was, it didn't matter to him. And he was so blinded by how society looked at him that yeah. he completely forgot why he was there in the first place. And so yeah. such a simple story. And yet, like at the end, you just that, the fact that he realized it was su such a great, powerful message. And that's that's one of the things I really appreciated about this movie that, people, you know, prop at the end of the day, like the magnitude of, of your problems and what and the context around them doesn't stop the fact that we all understand what a, adversity is and what problems right. are. Yeah. We all get that. You know, we understand what that means and whatever it is around at the end of the day, what's important is, is getting over them and reconciling, like yeah. reconcile, reconciliation is a, a big theme about yeah. the, in this movie too. And just cut perspective moment. and all that. It's a, yeah, it's, yeah. It, you can really learn a lot from this movie is what I really appreciate about it. So, yeah. Hi, your mom came in. Uh, anyway, <laughs> almost done. <laughs> we have lunch. <laughs> yeah. They have lunch. Busy Saturday. Um, yeah. So let's talk about the, Let's just go quickly over the four stories and which yeah. was our favorite. Like I already said, um, v, Viambu in Mughal story was uh, my the, favorite. The, the marriage. The marriage story. The crumbling yes. marriage, are, yeah. Uh, for, into a forced marriage. She's, you know, decides I'm going to hook up with the man I loved in college again because he's <laughs> having a really bad day. And that guy just drops dead. As they say in the movie, <laughs> they fucked him to death, I guess. <laughs> So I really thought that was going to be explained. I thought that was going to be a part of another person's story. That was I one of the things that didn't happen. I thought it was going to be the kids that poisoned him. That's right. And I then he went over and he was going to die. I was like, oh my God, it's going to be this. Exactly. Um, that's so, exactly yeah. what I thought. And that's I not 100 percent thought. But, but um, basically, they they go on this adventure to dispose of this body. The guy's upset with her, but also like sad, and he's going through all these emotions. And I was just like, it, it, it was just so funny and charming yes. and relatable yes. to me that to both that, characters. that's the story I connected with the most. The dude has the funniest things. Like he says, at one point he says, fuck you, Google. Like that's yeah. so funny. Uh, at another time, he, you know, he has this great little thing where he talks about uh, politics is where the real acting yes. is, which is like such a fun line yeah he's just uh, like you know if the, you're a patriot if you love your country you're a patriot if you love your language but to be proud of your cast and you're a fanatic right and i won't lie to you guys i if you could if someone could explain to us down below what the caste system is there exactly because right. when we i think when we learned it we learned it more as like a uh let's say uh a class system, right? Like if you were Correct. born in a certain caste, you couldn't move up in the world. That's how we learned in American schools. I don't know if that's right anymore. So if someone could explain that, that was great. But he had so many great lines that he I was, was my just, favorite character. Yeah. Overall. He was so, so good. Like, yeah, there was a, I love that. He has my favorite scene where she asks him to act out what he, how he feels <laughs> as if she's not, <laughs> His getting wife. drunk yes yeah, and then he goes through this whole spiel and then he calls he says star whores <laughs> yes star whores he says star whores Empire Dude, strikes when back. the body is falling and it's like that stupid like the little buzz the little thing right i was like oh my god yeah and I, I caught that i was like why is that the song and then i realized <laughs> that, that comes back 
<laughs> Dude. It's so good. I love yeah, I agree with you. That was probably my overall favorite mini story out of the four stories. I I love and they they get a happy ending, which is really yes. nice. They they yes. reconcile uh, at the end. Yes, I mean this asshole cop who is probably the God. most despicable par- person. What a on. great char- what a great villain though. What a yeah. character. That the that one, actor is yeah. awesome. Again, really you can good. like a lot of times people get too bogged down in making villains relatable. And so, yeah, right. let's, don't get me wrong. It works sometimes. When it works. When it works, it's amazing. But most of the times, it doesn't need to work. It's Just make the villain despicable. Yeah. And you're supposed to hate him. And it's easy. So, like, this is, yeah, Berlin, I believe, was his name, right? Berlin, Captain. yes. Uh, yeah, something like yeah. that. Even, you know, the like, that guy was a dick. Fuck that guy. But Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Was, uh, what was your favorite story? I know it's the um, marriage, so if you had to pick a second. The marriage was my overall favorite story, but I obviously really like the Shilpa, um, the transgender. Oh, you like Shilpa's um, story, yeah. Woman's story. story. Yeah, yeah because yeah. it's, well, it was just, I liked how it didn't need to be too complicated because yeah. of how heavy that stigma is. And we all understand that it's a new one, relatively speaking. Absolutely. And so it didn't need to be too uh, complicated. And it, it was just this wonderful a uh, beautiful story of like this kid and and his father and this kid just wanting his father back and understanding that like he but it's not just he was always carrying the baggage of what society how society was going to view him and how it was going to affect his son and everyone around yeah. him and that's heavy that is yeah. heavy heavy but just the 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 innocence and the endearing nature of the kid just not even giving a shit was just such a powerful message to me. Yeah. Just the idea, like, look, not everyone is going to accept you, dude. But yeah. people, there are people though that do need you, and they're gonna that you are useful. That you yeah. are you, and you are, and in that sense, you are more than this problem that you like this issue that you have. Right. Right. This is just one part of your life, you know, right. and you will have to deal with it. But yes. there is someone who does need you for other reasons, and yes. they, they'll love you for who you are. It doesn't matter to them. Yeah. What a what a fantastic, especially nowadays, right? What a fantastic. Right fantastic yeah. message yes. and yeah that, that one really hit me hard and yeah, so like, i w- uh, yeah and the other stories were good too though i will say the tv story was just like i ended up like being like what the fuck i mean okay fine <laughs> i guess but you don't really learn anything from their story it's it's just there for more or less kind of comedic relief i i think i don't know maybe you had a different response but the tv story was just like okay what are these like young three horny guys just like trying to get a tv uh yeah i, I like uh, that they end up being the demise of our favorite villain but overall it's just yeah yeah are they there to be the demise of the villain are they there to interact with an alien um <laughs> the alien the scene was shit, weird dude. um but i think i kind of so understand it it's basically okay what? she's you know the boys are being rude to her Treating yes. her as she's an alien because they call her your Northy. And right. I'm obviously that I, I don't know if that's racist, but uh, it's clearly not right. Yeah. Yeah. And it turns out she's just wearing an outfit and they're judging her. Right. They don't know her and they're judging her. Right. You know, everyone has their right to live the way they want to live, blah, blah, blah. But they still are casting judgment on her. And then she, you know, shows them who she really is. And they like learn a lesson that like, Oh, I guess we don't really know that much. We have this limited knowledge that we're dealing with yet. We're still casting judgment on and interfering in other people's lives. I think that was the point he was trying to get at. I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, but at first it took me a second to realize it. Cause at first I was like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Is that an alien? Is she an alien? Wait, on on one end, the- I kind of like it, like it's a bold choice, and I I kind of like salute the director. Yeah, no, it's it's a bold choice. I thought I I thought we were gonna get like a a cut back to the guy the kid sleeping in the rock. Oh. The <laughs> that they yeah. were still asleep. I thought that's right. what we were gonna get a cut back. To. Right. Also, but no, they stuck to it. Just egg, an alien. egg muffin was my nickname in middle school. I was a chunker. So Fuck uh, you. are you? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he was legitimately egg, I was egg McMuffin. McMuffin. I was egg McMuffin. You know, bro, one dude tried to bully me and call me that. I put his head into a headlock and Fuck I put yeah. his head into a locker and uh, I got in trouble. Uh, well, they that's said that's fine. not the way to retaliate. And I was like, yeah, but he never said it again. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You're not the it's, one having to be called Egg McMuffin. That's yeah. terrible, though. I'm sorry they had to be called that. Fuck that guy. I, I, but good when for he, you. When they, call, when they called him Egg, Mu- Egg Muffin, I was that like, like, boom. That's like, just like fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh no, <laughs> it's coming back. I didn't um, know that was a popular nickname for people. Egg McMuffin. Okay, sure. Yeah, uh, it's El Paso. Kids aren't inventive. There. In India, I guess. <laughs> oh, but yeah, well, yeah. Everybody that grew up there is still there. So I mean, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, um, yeah. I TV mean, TV story. When you get to that point, fine. I can I can justify it. But other than that. I felt like they're there just there for comic relief because I guess they so, did have yeah. some really funny moments. You did need how it. How horny they are. Yeah. 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 The, the because- whole hit the, the, the beginning sequence when he's at the, the rental house or like the place where they buy the DVDs and he's like <laughs> trying to put a guise of like why they're really there. And he just yeah. whispers, the yeah, board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's dying. like every kid does that. Like, yeah, that's so like, good. You know, it's yeah. so good. Dude, when he finds out it's his mom on the TV, <laughs> I. I was drinking water and I almost spit out my heart. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Yeah. I did not expect this film. Cause I think at that moment it really kicks into gear. Yeah, uh, obviously. Yes, of like, course. And just when, when he opens up the fridge and the body's in there, he goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really great scene. Goes, fuck, fuck, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The stupid bratty yeah, kid. kid. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's so that, good. That but whole moment, him. putting him into thing. Anyway, um, yeah, it's such so a quirky the, movie, man. It's just like there's so many moments that are just like, what? Okay, it keeps your attention. Quirky and, movie uh, is very, very, very good way to put it. Um, and then we have the final story, which we haven't touched on yet. Uh, which we should just before we, you know, give any more thoughts about it. Which yeah. is, I think it's Leela's story. That's the mom's name. Yes. Um, the, the actress, so, the porn yes, actress. The, the porn actress. So the kid gets very upset. He runs home, picks up a screwdriver, and is going to yeah. kill his mom. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Wow. And like, I'm not, I'm I sure mean, look, hey, real. it's a societal norms there. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Maybe. I'm sure it's real. So yeah. like, you know, and it's like disgrace of the family. I mean, look, think about oh, Dish Drisham. They kill recorded mom, that bro. video, and they went and killed the kid. And look how far they went for that to protect I her get it. like that. Uh, so. Jesus um, Christ, that's, that's but, yeah, but like so, he doesn't even want to like do it discreetly. This motherfucker's about to just do it in broad daylight. I was like, God damn. Okay. Yeah, it's it's crazy, but I uh, um, maybe it's I, real. No, you're all I, I actually liked the TV story a little bit better, and then sure. the Leela story. I think that was about faith and questioning yeah. faith and religion and like, maybe <sighs> organized religion. I think is what I took away from it. You know, sure. you know, it, like she has that great line to him where she says, if you were, would you still have this faith in, I believe it's Christianity is what he turns into. I believe if you so. were holding on to a teddy bear right. instead of this statue, right. because he finds out that uh, Shipla actually lived the same exact way. She held onto a rock. Right. So it wasn't just him that was spared. Uh, you know, like, and, it's just a rock. Yeah. So, and he basically denounces his faith and he's given riches. Right. Um, so it's, it, I, that story was good. What did you think of that story? In your opinion? Um, yeah, I thought, I mean, I, th- I do think that if any story could have maybe been cut down a little bit, I think that could have been the, one, the one just because I felt like it was a, I, at some point I understood what it was about and it just kept yeah. kind of going back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, ah, but I need like something more in the story though. You know, like yeah, I get it, yeah, but yeah, it just yeah, wasn't, yeah. it didn't, it wasn't saying as much as the other ones were. It wasn't the most powerful until I mean, until the Shilpa reveal, and like that was really powerful, obviously. But that just yeah. that get, that's at like right at the end, and it's just like yeah, by then I was like, I don't know minutes. how much I'm getting yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, because it was just know. a lot of like, it was just a lot of like lunacy for so much because everybody was right. so distraught in that situation because he had right. stabbed himself and he didn't know if he was gonna live. Yeah. So it was just the dad praying so much, so, you know. It, you know, and there was funny parts where the politician yeah. records himself doing something good <laughs> because you have to record yourself, right? Right. Um, right. But yeah, I uh, I do agree. It, it could have been cut down a lot. That one had the like the least yeah. dynamic. You know, yeah. it, that one just felt like like it was so just okay, like high ten, uh, high intensity the entire time, and yeah, felt like I was already kind of understanding it halfway through. I was okay. It wasn't, but yeah, know, I, I basically fine. said, you know, uh, our viewers probably will disagree with this, but I was like, oh, they're they're basically retelling pk sort of but in a oh that's a good in a point. shortened way you know yeah, I mean, yeah, since yeah. we had gotten the mastery that was amir khan and pk i was like <laughs> okay i i got it. i get it i get it you know yeah, yeah maybe we should just you know let's let's go because 
it, to me, that was the least well served version. Of, I agree, of, of and Mark I think I actually would what, what I would have uh, mm -hmm. preferred is if they had took some more time to do do a little bit something more with the TV story. And yeah, like Alien. That I because yeah. like I, I, as you weird as it was, that, I was kind of right? down for it. You know, I, yeah. I, I was like, okay, well, what else? What else you got? Like, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it, I think that could have been a good. You know, you know, and the alien is the one that makes the point at the end that like, hey, we're all just humans. We're all built from exactly. the same molecules and shit. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, um, and I like that. So yeah. Uh, okay, so we got all that. Um, what else you got from this film? Um, Things you I, would take away besides that Leela story. Um, again, it was more just like, look, it when you do a multi-narrative story, yeah. it, you're gonna come with some convolution. You gotta figure you gotta figure out a way to make sure that the audience is engaged throughout your um, you know, you're jumping around in these stories. And yeah. I think for the most part, it did a good job. However, at times I did feel like I wasn't sure where it was going because it felt a little disjointed. Um, and a little indulgent, you know, in, in the whole idea of it. But yes, again, there's more than enough uh, great filmmaking here for me to have just been like, that's fine, whatever. But yeah, uh, yeah there, it, it does suffer from that uh, for sure a little bit. Again, it, it makes me not want to watch the movie. I can't, I don't think I could watch this movie all the way through again. Right. It makes me feel like, man, I really could have maybe watched these all as smaller stories you know, encapsulated stories. I think I would have like, I think this movie could have been better as like a show that'd have been cool. So like in one episode it ends and then in the other episode, Oh, that's the guy from the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. And a you little have this bit more like, yeah, yeah. bite sized thing, but I, you know, I get it. I get why you, you, this, this, I don't think it works fairly well as a movie, but you know, not, not, not perfect in that sense. But other than that, again, just really great filmmaking, man. It's really, it's, it's yeah. really wonderful. Again, I and think good messages. Just, so yeah. Talk about the filmmaking again. It's just so, so well done. And it makes me want to see, even more, um, I think this was in Tamil. Tamil? Tamil? Sure. Ta Tamil. 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 Yeah. Tamil. Sorry. Yeah. This is a Tamil, li Tamil language, language film. Uh, so it's and like, I'm starting to hear the differences. Yes. I'm I definitely could, starting to. I was like, oh, that's absolutely not Hindi. Hear the difference. Yes. Yeah. It's I definitely different. Definitely. I was like, oh, I'm learning that. I'd like yeah, yeah, to know yeah. more about if you guys can help us out. Like, what, what, what are the major differences really with between Hindi and Tamil? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, that'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, on a, not um, like specifics. You can just be general. But yeah, uh, like, I was starting to hear it just intrinsically. I was like, oh, that's not Hindi. Like I can right. feel the differences. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But your to our uh, knowledge or or I guess our credit, we have said the wonderful RRR is some of the best filmmaking we've seen. That was also Tamil language. Yes, yeah, see, so, I, it's, that was my first one. I didn't even know. Yeah, like, and we're talking. Yeah, that. right. We wa We had to watch it in Hindi because that's that's only what was available to us. Right. We haven't seen it in our in that in the original language. So that is a Tamil um, movie. But it's a Tamil movie, and if I, I got to thinking as I was watching some of the great cinematography and everything, is this? Uh, should we be checking out some more Tamil films in the next Hell few yeah, weeks? I think so. You know, is the filmmaking as good as these films? Um, yeah, it'd be nice to finally start seeing those differences. Yeah. And cool. uh, yeah. And so I think that's uh, I think that's a good place to end it. Tamil is an amazing cinema experience. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty short review, but it was a great film. Excessive, but wonderful yeah, in a lot of good places. That's so many great lines. Such a could have, has really good poignant messages everywhere you go. Absolutely, um, and just a just a really fun film. So yes, uh, that's all for this week. Sorry to keep it so short. Uh, we will see you next week with another review. Check out the Juwan trailer reaction if you haven't. Yes. Check out our Mission Impossible review if you haven't. Please like and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.